Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a direct booking website for your Airbnb business in under 15 minutes. There's so many website building platforms out there, but if you're a total beginner to building websites, then I actually recommend going with Squarespace, which is what I'll be showing you how to use in this video. That's because it's super easy to use. There's tons of templates that you can choose from, and it's one of the fastest website builders out there. If you guys have an Airbnb business and you don't have a direct booking website, you could be losing out on thousands of dollars on Airbnb platform fees. Most hosts on Airbnb have to pay a service fee of 3%. So what a lot of Airbnb business owners do nowadays is they create a direct booking website like the one I'm about to show you. And this way they can book repeat clients through private transactions instead of the Airbnb platform. So if you're trying to do the same, then feel free to follow along because if you follow the step-by-step -step tutorial, you can easily build a direct booking website in under an hour. Anyways, with all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so if you guys click on the link down below, you guys are gonna get taken to this website right here where you can actually start a 14 day free trial without even needing a credit card. So to get started, just click on this button right here. And now it's gonna ask you a couple of questions about what the website is about. So for this example, I'll just click on real estate. And then now it's gonna ask me, what are your top goals? So you could just say sell services and offer a contact form, click next. And then now it's gonna ask you if you want to create a professionally designed website template, or if you wanna build a custom template with Squarespace's blueprint. This is totally up to you guys. If you guys wanna choose the custom route, you guys can choose this. But for most beginners, I think it's really easy if you just choose a professionally designed website template. So I'll go ahead and click on that and then click on finish. So now it's going to bring me to this page right here where it gives me a bunch of templates to choose from. And you guys, this is one of Squarespace's strongest points right here. They have a bunch of really good templates that you guys can choose from and it's all drag and drop so you guys can easily build a website in under an hour. So let me just go back to the top right here and it's already chosen the real estate and properties, but let's just go ahead and uncheck the online store. And from there, it's going to allow me to see a bunch of real estate templates. So let's just say that we like this one right here, we can click preview and it will allow us to see it on desktop as well as mobile. And you guys, it's super important to optimize your website for mobile. A lot of your traffic is going to be coming from the phone. So you want to make sure that your website looks good on the phone. But if you guys like how it looks, then you guys can click on start with this design right here. And from here, it's going to have you create your account. So you can either continue with Google, Apple, or you continue with email. And then once you finish creating your account, now you can name your website. So for this one, I'll just name it Airbnb test. You guys can name it whatever you want. And then I'll just click on continue. It'll bring you through a couple of more slideshows telling you about what Squarespace can do. So you can have bookable appointments for clients. You can also have email campaigns that you can use to drive traffic. And you also have access to insights and analytics on your website. That way you can measure all the data from your website. Okay, so now that we're done with that, we're gonna get taken to this page right here where we can finally start customizing our website. So the very first thing that we can actually do is go to our asset library. And from here, we can start dragging in any of the pictures or videos that we have. So I went ahead and I uploaded a couple of pictures that I found from Pexels. And if you guys didn't know, this is a website that you can use to find free stock photos. So if you guys are interested in using this for your Airbnb direct booking website, we'll leave a link down below for you guys to check it out. But yeah, going back to the homepage, we can now go to the settings. And from here, you have a bunch of different options to customize your website's backend. But I think the most important part of your website is the, actually the domain name. So if you click on that, you'll see that right now, our built-in domain is gar-gopher-some numbers and letters dot squares space.com. So if you guys use the 14 day free trial, then you guys are going to have a domain similar to this right now. But I highly recommend that you guys actually get a domain name. You can either get it from a website like Namecheap, or you can actually just buy a domain straight from Squarespace. The good thing is that the plans actually include a domain name. So if I go over to their plans, you guys can see that the $16 per month personal plan right here, they actually offer a free custom domain. And I would say that for most of you guys, the personal plan is just fine. The only difference between the personal and the rest of the plans is that you get the professional email and some other things for e-commerce, but obviously this isn't an e-commerce website, so you guys don't really need that. But yeah, I highly recommend getting a domain name because this is gonna allow your website to look a lot more professional. Anyways, going back to the homepage, we can now actually start to customize our website. So right here on the right-hand side, you guys are gonna see an assistant that will pretty much guide you through your entire website building process. But for now, I'll just go ahead and click don't show again because I'll show you guys how to actually do all that right here. So if you guys wanna edit your website, just go ahead and click edit right here. And this is gonna bring you to the website editor. And as you guys can see, it's very, very intuitive. Right here is where you'd be able to edit the site header. So if I go ahead and click on that, I can go ahead and change the logo. I can change the site title if I want. And I can also add a different logo for my mobile users. And going back, I can change some elements so I can make the button say contact, or I could change the button to say something like book a stay. And then of course, this will go to a different landing page. So I would just have to go here and then find the page once I build it out. And going back, you can also change the style. So you could choose between a solid 
header, a gradient header, a theme header, and even a dynamic header, which is what I like. So I'll keep it at that. And yeah, going down here to the main section, I can go ahead and click on edit section. And you guys can see there are a bunch of different options that will allow me to customize it. So right now it's this image right here. I can go ahead and click on replace and then click select from library. And then again, because I already uploaded some, I'll just go ahead and choose this one right here and then click add. And now, as you guys can see, it has changed to this picture right here. Now going down, as you guys can see, there are these add section buttons right here. And if I go ahead and click on that, I can go ahead and choose to add different sections. So let's say I want to add a contact form. So I'll go ahead and click contact. And then from here, you have a bunch of different templates that you can choose from. So let's say I want to choose this right here and boom, now it's added onto the page. So if I want to change what this says right here, I can go ahead and click on this and I can even have it linked to something. I can change the design. So the text size and the direction down here, I can change this text however I want by clicking on this right here. Right here, I can actually use AI to generate some text for me. So I just wrote, write a paragraph with a call to action to book a stay by texting or emailing us at the contact information below. So now I'll click on generate and boom. So now it has generated some text and I could just click on insert right here. And then now I could just plug in my phone number right here as well as the email. And that's one of the ways that people can directly book your Airbnb through your website. From there, you would just text or email them back. And then you guys would just have to figure out a way to transact. So whether that be through a platform like Zelle or Cash App or even PayPal, you know, there's tons of different platforms out there that can charge lower fees than Airbnb. And you can even add a Calendly link if you want to hop on a call with some of your newer clients. That way you can interview them and get to know them before you actually let them book a stay. I would say that the last thing that you guys should do before publishing is going to mobile view right here. And then just making sure that everything is good to go on your mobile view. So as you guys can see, the image right here is a little bit high. So if I want to move it down, I'll just click and drag it. And if I want to change any of this stuff, I can. And then once I think it looks good, I'll just click on save right here. Going back to the homepage, you guys can click on pages right here. And then it's going to allow you to change your main navigation. So this would be the menu that would stay right here. So let's just click on this, click on add. We'll click on scheduling right here. And then it's going to allow me to add a page where they can book an appointment. So let's just click on this one right here. And then we can rename it to book a stay. And then now, as you guys can see, this menu has popped up. But if you guys want to change it to this button, we just have to click on that. And then as we can see, it brings us to the contact page. So you just have to rearrange those things around. But yeah, I recommend you guys just mess around with all this stuff. It's super customizable, really easy to learn. You guys just have to drag and drop and change the text to however you want. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to creating a direct booking website for your Airbnb business. Now, before you guys go and start building out your website, I want you guys to know that it's not that important to make your website perfect. I think the biggest mistake that you can make is spending a ton of time on your website instead of other things that are way more important. You could be focusing on prospecting new properties and you could be setting up new Airbnbs that will give you a much bigger return rather than making your website perfect. It just needs to look clean and professional enough for your clients to book through your website. And yeah, it's much more important to actually build out your business than to focus on your website. Again, we'll leave the link down below for you guys to check out Squarespace. As you guys saw, it's a really affordable and super easy to use platform. And if you use the links, it'll help out this channel and it's what keeps this content free for you guys. Anyways, I hope you guys got a lot of value out of this video. And if you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Here on this channel, we make a lot of tutorials and how-to guides dedicated to helping out new entrepreneurs start their own business. Thank you guys so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.